Hey there, this is Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Flotsam today. Just recently hit early access. Developers, thank you for a key. In Flotsam, we hit the open water and get to build a beautiful colony out of trash. So let's see if we can't turn that into something both torturous and beautiful. Ah, my favorite part. What should we call our new town? USS We Are Screwed. Perfect. Okay, so here we are in our humble beginnings. Not too shabby. Looks like we start with three people. Who do we got here? Sammy Flot. Wow, you were just born for this specific situation, weren't you? Hello. Hello. We also got this guy, Raf Snores a Reef. That's too long to say, so I'm just gonna rename him to Snores McGee. Oh, that just changed his nickname. I can't legally change his birth name. Well, this actually made it more complicated, so I like it. We've got Lilu the Crab Vlottenberg. Or as I'm gonna call her from now on, Lilu Dallas Multipass. My understanding is in order to survive, we have to do two things. Make sure our people have plenty of food and drink, or apparently in this case, a healthy diet of shark and delicious crunchy plastic bottles, and also gather resources to make stuff. And by resources, I mean wet wood, dry wood, brass knuckles, and tire irons. Actually, I think that's plastic and metal, but you get the idea. We also got a map over here, which you can see there we are. The U.S. says we are screwed. And we have this entire ocean to go across and create havoc and wonder. I don't know what happens if we reach the end here. Presumably, we fall off the world. Flat Earth confirmed. First thing we're going to want to do is pick up a bunch of trash. We're going to start off by setting a buoy right here, which is going to tell our guys to go swim out to it and get all of our sweet materials for us. Yes, yes. Do my bidding. Meanwhile, while they're off risking their lives, let's go down here to build. See what we got. All right, great. Multiple categories. We can do stuff like build walkways and little storage thingies. To other stuff, we're going to need like a drying rack and a woodworking shed. But really, you know what we're interested in? Getting a sail. Because I want to get this thing moving. And for that, it looks like we're going to need four hubcaps, four ropes, and one sail. So to build the sail, I need a sail. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, right? Oh, hello there. I think we found our sail. Okay, this is our new destination. This ship. If there's a whole ship there, why don't we just take that? Huh? What do you want? I'm unable to salvage these items because there's no available storage. Not my plastic. Well, let's get right on that then. First, we're going to build a thing leading out like this at a kind of a gross angle. Now I need you guys to stop screwing around and go build it. Now I'm going to sit here and watch you guys do all the work. And now I'm going to have a little offshoot on both sides. And on that, we're going to have another offshoot. Oh my God, are you guys like sleeping and building? Oh, I get it. You're just getting really tired. You can keep building. I'm so glad the game lets me do this. Like, I've effectively made it so I can't do anything with this. What the heck is this icon down here? There are not enough houses to accommodate all drifters. Oh, you silly people. You think I'm gonna give you housing? You already made it clear that this works just fine. Also, I think you're crushing her lungs. You might want to give her a little bit more clearance than that. Oh, man, I got so caught up in messing with the building, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, storage thing. Although, I don't think that's really a concern anymore, is it? Uh-oh, our water reserves are low. So, to get more water, we need to build one of these distillers. Which, while we have the plastic, we need the dry wood to build it. To get the dry wood, we gotta build one of these guys, the drying rack. Which I'm gonna try to shove right... There we go. And now, you know, all we need to do is just build this before everyone dies of thirst. Also, is it just me or is Lilu here doing all of the work? Thankfully, the drying rack is now drying. As is our water supply. You know, actually, that's what I'm gonna call it if they die to dehydration. They dried to death. Okay, just two more to go. Hang in, guys. I know you don't have any water. And as we all know, they can't just drink the ocean water because it's too tasty. I know that icon is because they all need water, but I like to believe they're crying, which they would probably do if they had any water left in their body for crying. Okay, distiller time. Let's go ahead and shove this thing like right over here. Ah, there it is. Let's go over here and tell it to fuel firewood. Ugh. Okay, to get firewood for this thing, we have to build the woodworking shed. Man, I'm starting to think I shouldn't have wasted all this time building this weird cacophony of planks. Build away my dehydrated pretties. Okay, there it is. Let's make some firewood. Oh God, it's always something. Thankfully, this stuff almost done. Okay, now Lilu is over there playing the wood a song before taking the materials over to our little storage bin, only to take them out again, and then bring them over to this thing of a bob to make firewood. And then What's-His-Face is gonna take that firewood, put it back into the storage bin again, then Lilu's gonna come over here and take that firewood over to the distiller, which at long last is finally making water. And then these two dudes sneak the water away while she's off working. Go team! Well, I consider this a great success. We have extra water at all. Time to focus on other concerns, like food. I think we have just the thing right here. Okay, let's go ahead and just set a buoy so that, uh... Damn it, it's outside the range of influence. That means it's too far for our drifters to swim to. Yes, we gotta build a boat, but to build a fishing boat, we need all those supplies, including that pea thingy, which is this here, a mooring point. But to build this, we need rope. To make rope, we need to do it from the shed. It's always something, isn't it? Okay, one rope, please. So all my tomfoolery here has caused a bit of a problem. I need to be able to build the mooring point and also one of these boats, and I'm gonna need 16 plastic to do it. I don't 
don't have 60 plastic. So we're gonna deconstruct these walkways here, which in theory will give us eight plastic each. Ah, much better. Now it's time to build the mooring point. The game reasonably won't let me put it somewhere weird, so I'll just put it along the edge, I guess. Always working up against the dire needs of the people here. First they were thirsty, now they're starving, soon they'll be both. Ta-da! So as much as we need this fishing boat, we actually need to go with a salvaging boat so we can get more plastic so that we can make the fishing boat. This is like the tutorial level, and yet it's the most harrowing thing I've had to do in a game in a long time. Okay, guys, you see that beautiful plastic all the way out there? Bring it home, Lilu. Bring it home so we can make another thing to do a thing for the thing. Wow, that's way more efficient. Thanks for doing all the work again. Okay, now we have enough resources to build the- Oh, no, I need another mooring point. And for that, I need another rope. Oh, my production sucks. Okay, pull supplies out, put them in the thing, open the warehouse, do some rave stuff with your hands, and just like that, now we have rope. Okay, mooring point number two. Finally, fishing boat time. Listen, I don't want to make you hustle or anything, but you don't have any food or water. Ah, there we go. And now that we've got this fishing boat, I think that means we can go all the way over here to this giant weird ball of fish. I mean, these dudes just want to be caught. Just go down here, select our fishy thing, put it right over here, harvest 25 whole fish. Yeah, they're never going to see it coming. My god, it's Lilu again. Does nobody else know how to operate a boat? Oh, I didn't realize she'd go out here and actually fish. Sounds like a lot of work. Okay, time to load this thing up with fish. You know what I just noticed? Sammy's not wearing any pants. No shame whatsoever. Not even around that fire. Sammy may also have the honor of being the first one to die. Wait, wait. He's got food in him now. Oh my god. Sammy saved himself at the 0.02% health mark. So be it, Sammy. You live to fight another day. Hey, Lilu Dallas, pretty sure you're gonna die if you don't grab some of that fish. You know the fish that's right there? One of you, go grab it. Go grab the fish. Oh, now you run off to get the fish. I don't feel like this jaunt is gonna go very well. <laughs> Come on, Lilu. Time is for the essence. Get that fish in there. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Eat the fish, Lilu. Look, it's right there. It's right there. It's in the storage thing. Grab the fish. Or you could just go to sleep. That's cool. I'm sure you'll be fine when you wake up. Lilu's health is now at 0.0%. But lucky for her, apparently death can't take you while you're asleep. Sammy, what are you doing, man? That's the only fish she needs that. What are you- Oh, now you're just gonna hang 10 off her body? Did you just stand on her until she died? Sammy, did you see that? He just gave us the side eye. He knows what he's doing. Oh, and then our other guy just died off on the bridge, too. Okay, Sammy, it's all up to you now. And we could lose the game. What the hell was that? Well, that took a sudden turn. We will not be defeated, though. Town name. Mmm. Who are our three lovable idiots this time? Cool, we still have Sammy Flot, destined to murder everybody else before dying himself. We also got Man Bun McTrash Bag Vest. Man Bun McTrash Bag Vest. Well, that's all that fits. Moby Man Bun McTrash Bun Magellan. And our third faithful companion, Hair Wine. Let's get down to business this time. That sale ain't gonna steal itself. Okay, here we are in a much better place. By that I mean everyone's alive and like doing stuff. Here's the quick tour. We got drying racks, we got the workshop, we got supplies, we have beautiful boat parking, and we kind of have resources still. So now it's time to take our boat here and go infiltrate the island. Wait, do I just push the salvage button? Wow, I didn't realize pillaging was so easy. Oh great, it's Sammy that's going. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. Okay, Sammy, find us the good stuff. Wow, he's not wasting any time. He went straight for that sail. Looks like he's going back for seconds. Wow. Wow, he managed to fit all that in his little Santa sack? Color me impressed. Oh boy, it's time. Oh, the sail just sits on the outside of my ship? For some reason, I thought it'd be on the inside. Well, might as well build it out as far as I can then. I guess this is the build line, so I can't actually build it farther than this. It's so almost worse is it's gonna be sticking out the side like this. Makes sense to me. Ta-da! I don't know why I was expecting it'd be higher up. Whatever, I'm just happy to get out of here. Map me. Alright, it's time for the mmm to head on over to here. Lonely Island. Features. Villagers hopefully to kill. Towns to pillage. I like it. Looks like we got two objectives. Rescue these two idiots and scavenge this town. And thankfully, I definitely set myself up for success with no food in little water. So obviously the first order of business is to rescue these two. By that I mean I just push the big button that says rescue. Because if there's one thing we need, it's more mouths to feed. Wish we could just fish this guy. This would solve all our food problems forever. Well, that was fast. Looks like we rescued our people. <laughs> just watching him get stuck in all the debris. Okay, there we go. Let's welcome Inky and Sponge. Welcome to the team. Time to scavenge with the scavenge button. Why do we always send this serial killer on the missions? And what is he doing in that house? You know, I don't know if I want to know 
what he did in that house. All we can say is he came through for us, and that's A-OK. -okay. Here comes Sammy with his bounty. I'm pretty sure he went inside the house and literally just chopped up the house. Glad I brought those people on board. We're in a perpetual state of hunger and thirst, but it looks like as part of our salvage operation, we got six research points. Hopefully that'll save us. <laughs> okay, what the hell is all this? Okay, this looks fun and all, having things for more storage or new housing, which my guys will never, ever get out of me, as well as different workshops. But I think we need to focus our efforts down here on food and water. Ooh, like fish kebabs. Let's do that. Good news. Can't afford it. Need metal. <laughs> Wait, where's the metal? Can I do anything? Where do I get metal then? Why can't I salvage it from these cars or piping? Well, it looks like there's no metal on this map. You know what that means, right? Full sail ahead. <laughs> Leaking water tower. Help us. Features fresh water, oil, and an abandoned town to take things from. I'm glad they can survive the journey with no food and water. <laughs> okay, here we are. Everyone's still starving to death. Like hair wine. Go ahead and break protocol. There's water right there. Don't wait for someone to pick it up. Just go get it. Okay, our resident serial killer is collecting the water. Hopefully he gives it to her and doesn't just hold it for himself. Ah, oh, thank God. Another sort of close call. Okay, so we got a couple things we can do. We can hit up this water tower for water. We can hit up this old factory for oil. Or we can scavenge this for research points. I guess let's start with the water. Now that water's looking better, let's go scavenge this shack. Hopefully it has 13 metal for me. Because if there's one thing I'm crying out for right now, it's fish kebabs. Okay, cool. Looks like he found some supplies. Like canned food and dry wood. But not metal. That's a me problem still. Thankfully, this delicious canned food means we live another day. And it's not like those cans could be used for scrap metal or anything. I guess that just leaves one last chore to do. Go salvage a bunch of oil. Well, that was easy. We got our gas cans of oil. Couldn't help but notice there's all that scrap metal. We just take it. Fish kebabs? Fish kebabs want to be made? While all that scavenging was happening, times have gotten better over here. We now have double distilleries going on, and we have a little extra plastic. You know what that means. Wait, can I build and just, like, cut this boat off? Only one way to find out. All right, yeah. You totally can. But we're gonna have to wait till the next map to see if the boats can deal with it, because we're running out of resources again. So, onward. Let's see, what do we want to do this time? We could get more people and die faster. Clearly, we're gonna have to go where this seagull is. To do so, we're gonna use one of our oil. How does that work anyway? Are we, like, putting the oil in the sail? Okay, we know the drill. What do we got? We can go rescue a seagull. And why would we do that? Well, I mean, look at his profile. Wants to be rescued. Who are we to deny that? Or we can go over to this little kelp bed thing, get us some raw seaweed, or we can... <gasps> 32 metal scraps? Scavenge it! Scavenge it! What did I tell you two islands ago? Cars are where it's at. Oh yeah, there's our boy bringing us a bunch of scrap. Hey, can one of you idiots come unload this boat? You're actively starving and there's kebabs we could be making. Thank you. It's time. Fish kebab. God, I can taste the kebabs already. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened. But when I click on my guys now, everyone's portrait is that bird. <laughs> they really want me to pick up that bird, don't they? I, for one, am okay with this change. And I will, but we have two objectives first. Fish kebabs and blocking off all of our boats forever. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mmm, yes, the perfect rotisserie. Damn it, we've exhausted all the food sources again. So let's go get our bird friend and move on to the next place. I'm also excited to see how my guys handle this since I trapped in both of my salvage boats. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna go where he feels like. You'll make a path. I like it. Hey there, little guy. How would you like to come with me? How was that rescuing? You can fly. Stefan, we're gonna change your name here. Stefan Grace. Nah, eh, good enough. What can this bird even do? Wait, hauling items? Are you actually just a team member? Oh my god, it really just flies around and does the same job as everyone else. And then it just flies out here and lets loose a call of the damned, and then comes back with resources. Grace, are you okay? I feel like I'm playing an entirely different game now. I'm freaked out. Let's get out of here. Hmm, should I use one oil to go here to scavenge a town? Or should I use equal amounts of oil to go all the way over here and get more oil and a town? Well, the decision is clear. All right, let's test out this thing with the boats being trapped. Let's give it this nice little circle of influence right here. Let's see what happens when they try. Uh, oh no. Oh god, you know what's even more screwed up though? It eats up the resources without you getting them. Like watch this, I'll just go highlight this big pile over here. And all sucked up forever. Well that's kind of the opposite of what I wanted. What if I send you guys out to get this oil? Hey, you gonna go get the oil or are you gonna... Yeah, see now you care. Yep, really getting that oil. At least he's trying this time. Oh there he goes, see he freed himself. Oh yeah, no F's given now. Let's see what happens when he tries to come back in here. Just gonna sail around for a while. Then he's gonna kind of just... Y yeah, alright. Well, bad news. I guess. Full sponge over here is about to expire. Because I glitched the boats, nobody's been getting wood. Which means the distillers weren't working. Which means we're dying of thirst. 
And there he goes. Just curled up under Sammy and died. Oh yeah, just drag him around. That's even better. <laughs> okay, Christ, look guys. We need firewood so we can light up the distillers. We need your lazy asses to pick up stuff off the drying rack and start chopping. I think you guys have a death wish. That's what I think. I like that their health can be at zero, but if they're in the middle of doing something, they need to finish that and then die. Yo, hair wine, do you want to survive or not? Which one of you is on fire chopping duty? Someone go chop it. See, don't be like him. Hairwine, this is your last chance to survive. Go to the thing. Just go to the thing. Make the thing. Make the thing. Put the thing in the thing. Oh, good. Sammy's back. And one of you... Oh, okay. Yeah, push him off to the side. Have your final meal. Swing by. Say goodbye to Grace, who is still alive. Go to your final task of delivering some fish and then just pass on. Well, the only one left alive now is Grace. And I guess she rules over everything now. Running from place to place. <laughs> just doing daily chores. Wait, if everyone's dead but the bird, can I just keep going? I mean, apparently Grace doesn't even need water, so we're fine. If I switch these things to dried fish, can Grace handle this? Yep, Grace is just picking up stuff and throwing it over to the drying rack. <laughs> Look how happy Grace is. So can I just keep going? I sure can. Onward to the finish line. The final node. This is the end of the map. Moving here will teleport you back to the beginning. Wait, do we still have all of our stuff though? <gasps> we do. Oh my God, we're basically time travelers. Look, the sail is back. Okay, I've got an idea, but we need to roll back time a little bit. Ironically, from before we time traveled. Before all these people died. <laughs> Okay, here we are again. A couple people are still alive. Quickly, to the end that takes us to the beginning. Okay, here we are at the beginning now. Let's get a new villager. Quickly, someone get over there and rescue those people. Maybe not this guy with the stupid haircut, though. Maybe, maybe leave him behind. Oh god, hurry, there's not much time. You must succeed, Sammy. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's got him. He's got him. With his work finished, he can finally do his final task to die. You two hair wines, time to let it all go. Thankfully, we've got this guy. Him and that other weirdo are all we're gonna need. To do what, you ask? First, we're gonna sail onward, back to the seagull, where we are gonna rescue another seagull friend. Hey there, little buddy. It's okay. Come with us. Then we go back to the map, and we sail until we go back in time again. Until, you guessed it. Come here, Stevie. Let's go home. And rinse and repeat. So I went ahead and made one of the rooms, just to see if I could do something, which is yes, in case you were wondering. You can build a room <laughs> and then the bird can take it. Okay, so things are looking great, as you can see. Our bird overlords are everywhere. We do have two humans that kind of wander around. Oh, and as you might have noticed, the frame rate has gotten a little bit worse over time. I'm not really sure why. But these two dudes essentially exist at the service of the birds. They essentially fish all day to get food for the birds. Oh, and also, the game received a patch while I was playing it, which added a fun new button. Look, it's our friend the bird. Places a buoy for seagulls. See, even the developers know where this is going. This one dude right here is so petrified with fear. His limbs don't even work correctly anymore and just like slides his way out of here. I kind of redesigned our town a little bit to make sure that they understood that I understood. Drew a little bird beak. Town really does belong to the birds now. And also, I don't know if it's because the frame rate is just so low now, but the physics are getting a little bit wacky. Like, why is he running like that? Or like, why is the boat going all bouncy like this? Can you imagine waking up? There's not just birds all over the place, but with the physics going crazy, this is what you see. I mean, this guy doesn't care. He just walks off while these birds continue to sit here and just be as weird. Ah, all right. I think that's going to do it for this one. I hope you had fun. And if you didn't, don't tell the birds. Me, I'm just going to exist here in this hell of my own making until the birds let me out to make another video. So until then, I'll see you next time.